right, so here today we got a lot of stuff to talk about. I did want to go through and talk about all of the characters coming out for One Punch Man World. Hopefully these are all of the launch characters. I do want to make something abundantly clear here that again, this is the beta characters. In my opinion, it makes no sense to make these premium. Uh, these should be the characters that launch on the standard banner. I will also make it clear that some characters were not available to play as, but we could play as them through storyline. So we don't know if those characters will become again, premium or gotcha banners, but I will share with you everything that I have for you here today. If you're ready for it, let's jump into it. Again, like and subscribe, it helps out a ton. We're super close to 500 subs, so just consider smacking that sub button. It means a lot to me. Let's hop into it. First things first, let's go through this. So the site actually has a bunch of the characters, but it doesn't have all of them. It's actually missing a crap ton of them. So we'll start our way over here. Speed of Sound Sonic is a very cool character. He was actually my favorite character from the beta uh, when it comes to the, um, like, attacks and everything they were really really fast paced and right now we have all the animations over here so we have the one over here have the two over here um and it shows kind of what his uh, skills are i think this is his ultimate is that what it is no i don't think it's ultimate. never mind but again it shows you a little bit of gameplay here of what it looks like he is a very very fun character he um and atomic blade are the two characters that i play the most um in the entire beta because they were just very very fast paced but um, again, he's an SSR character. He was the premium character that actually launched with the game uh, where we had that. Uh, he was on the standard banner, but he was also separated into a premium thing uh, on Raid Up, right? We have Moomin Rider over here. He was a standard SR character. Nothing too special, nothing explosive like that. He was just a standard SR character. Uh, my favorite animation with him is <laughs> spinning the bike and just beating the crap out of someone. Uh, it was really cool. He can actually also ride a bike. I don't know if this shows it to you. But yes, he, he can ride a bike and he can literally just ram into them and that does damage. Um, it's probably the funniest thing ever, <laughs> genuinely speaking. But again, that's what it looks like there. Um, and then over here we have it. There goes the animation and then you can kind of ride around. Uh, it's 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 just fun. Just just go with it. I know people will be like, dude, this is so weird. <laughs> it's Moomin Rider, bro. That's what he does, okay? He is just that guy, but that is what his fight um, or fighting abilities look like. That is him again, not an SSR character, just in standard SR character. Next up, we have Perry Perry Prisoner. He was one of the standard banner characters in the game. He was an SSR. So again, he might just be on the standard banner. Don't think he's going to really be a uh, gotcha character just because, again, uh, he was like very, uh, I don't know. I didn't like his play style that much. It was very like... I don't know what the word is. It's um, it's stiff. It is stiff as hell. It's like you want like a character that kind of like moves a lot. That's why I like both Atomic Blade um, and that. They have so many particle effects. So much actually happens. It's like you're bouncing, 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 and you can actually combo in a way. Uh, this character for me was just way too stiff. Um, this and this one over here, the uh, I think his name is Golden Ball or something like that. Uh, but this was one of my favorite entire animations to do. This guy is just so fun. Like, I was comboing, bro. I was, like, smacking my keyboard, comboing with this character. Uh, it was absolutely a blast. But he has this. I think it's a counter thing when they attack you while you activate this. Like, if you hit it at the right frame, um, it actually will uh, hit him back. That's what it looks like there. Uh, we have so this also, like, this is what I mean, dude. His effects are just so freaking cool. And the cape and everything fluttering, it just, it feels nice. Over here, we have this other animation over here. Pretty simple stuff here. Just a quick little... Uh, kind of blade swipe go with that and then over here also <laughs> very freaking cool so again he's a very fun character uh, and if you land the thing uh, at the right timing it can actually do a lot and yeah you can kind of counter very much so uh, this is golden bull it's the other design in the game i didn't really like too much uh, it was very slow to play it's like he's more of a ranged character right so there is that you'll play as this guy a crap ton because he'll be given to you for uh, during the beginning of the game and you'll be able to progress with him as a standard sr character until you obtain uh, some of the ssr characters but I was not a fan. Very, very boring. Um, his uh, skills for me, it just, it just didn't feel like fast paced. And that's basically what it does. That's literally all he does. Uh, over here, Lightning Max. This is like the main character, apparently. Uh, literally, this is the guy you play as a crap ton. You will continue to play as him uh, during like a tutorial segment or whatever they do. Uh, like when they force you into a story uh, segment, you're forced to play as him sometimes. So keep this in mind. That's kind of what it looks like. He's the one apparently like climbing the agency ranks, right? So that's what they went for here. Um, but again, you look at this over here. It's a pretty standard kick. Um, over here again, you can do this. You keep like spamming um, the letter it tells you to, and you can keep continuing the entire thing uh, to build up his meter. Uh, then with his meter, he can kind of nuke. So just keep that in mind. Uh, that is how this character works. It's not bad actually for an SR character, not an SSR. It's pretty cool. Uh, we had <laughs> we had Saitama. He is in fact an SSR character, but we don't have the actual One Punch Man, right? We have the weakened uh, Dream State Saitama because again, Saitama is just too busted. Uh, so we have the weakened Dream State Saitama. Uh, where he's able to fight here and again obviously it's not gonna beat him in one punch because the dream that he had he didn't get to beat him in one punch he took him a few punches uh and that, that was the dream that you know gave him his thing of finding somebody <laughs> who's strong enough for him but 
Uh, very, very cool. He was also very fun to play. Uh, you get to play as him in like the early segments of the game uh, during the tutorial and whatnot. And both these guys, uh, both the Saitamas of the game, uh, have some pretty cool animations. The other Saitama is the uh, uh, work Saitama before he became One Punch Man, right? So there is that. We also have Genos over here. We have two versions of Genos. I'll show you both the versions in a second here. But um, again, very, very cool. Uh, both Genoses were very fun to play also. Uh, more of a ranged character, but just much more faster than what um, Golden Ball was as a character. Uh, you can kind of see here, again, it's 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 a bit faster paced um, when you're in a, uh, a matchup there. But that's all the website kind of shows us uh, when it comes to the character. So again, a quick little cruise through of who was there. That was again at the launch, but there are more. First off, again, these were the other things. Uh, we have two versions of this over here being Speed of Sound Sonic. We have the prison version and we have the regular version. So do keep that in mind. We also have a second Genos, that being this Genos over here. Um, he does look like this. It's, um, I think it's not, I don't know if it's season two or just later in season one, um, but it's there. I think it's when, I don't know if it's exactly when he fought um, Saitama in like season one, but it's at a point this happened. So keep that in mind, that's what he looks like. He looks a little bit different than the standard one uh, because again, it is a, a different variant, right? Uh, there's also this over here. We had Bang in the beta. He was a character that you can actually obtain. His fighting style, I didn't get like the best right uh, ability to show it at all. So I don't have gameplay of that, but he does look very cool and he does play pretty fun. Um, that is there. Again, when the characters launch and we have more of the kind of confirmed information, I'll do like a guide on everything. Uh, so you at least have like breakdowns of each character. But Bang, <laughs> my goat here, absolutely looking very cool here. Um, I think that this gameplay thing actually shows us the uh, ultimate. Yes, this is the ultimate. And it's a very cool ultimate. If you've watched, uh, I think I think season two is when they show it, where he goes against Garo and he actually has most of these abilities there. So it's very cool. If, again, if you watched um, most of the uh, the anime, you know what's uh, kind of going on here. But very cool, bro. <laughs> the ultimates are super long too. Uh, so if you if you play with like uh, ults off, this is definitely the game that you're going to need that on because the ults just last forever, bro. They last forever. Uh, there's another character that wasn't shown there. I believe he's an SR, a standard character. Uh, nothing special like an SSR. Uh, it's Spring Mustachio. There is this. Uh, very cool playstyle, actually. <laughs> very cool playstyle. He's also very fast-paced in comparison uh, to some of the other characters. And he also has like a parry thing. Um, and they look all really cool. So there is this. He also has an ultimate. I'll just forge the ultimate just to make it a little bit faster. But yeah, it's... The ultimate animations are like, dude, 10 to 15 seconds. <laughs> they are no cheap uh, ultimate animations. They last for a bit. And some people, I like that, dude. It definitely is. Uh, seeing it the first time, first few times is really cool. But after a while, when you're trying to play, dude, it's going to gonna stall. <laughs> it's going to stall. Trust me now. Um, so there is that. Very, very cool. I will make it clear. These two characters, Zombie Man and... Um, what is it? It's not, it's not, it's, what's his name exactly? I know his style, the four-leg style. I don't know what his name exactly is. Oh, my God. Watchdog? Is it Watchdog? I don't know what it is. But both characters, Omni Man and uh, over here, the other character, uh, these two were not were not in the beta, but they have been continuously showing us gameplay of them um, and kind of sne uh, sneak peeks or uh, tidbits of what they look like. Uh, they do look very fun, but uh, there is no such thing as them in the beta. There'll be premium banners later on, uh, so do keep that in mind. If you like these two characters, you'll have to wait for a bit. Uh, the next character in the beta, again, was over here. Speed of Sound Sonic, the prison version, right? Um, another really cool style. I actually do like this character a lot, so... That's there. Um, and if you've seen the uh, episode where, <laughs> again, he's like finding Saitama, it's that same thing where he has the, uh, the other versions of him, um, the after images, something like that. Um, and, you know, it is, again, pretty, pretty cool. So there is this long ultimates again. Uh, still, still 16 seconds left of this video. So let's see it. Has to, has to give the quote. Here we go. <laughs> Continues onwards. It just keeps going, bro. Yeah. But very cool character again. I'll let this finish and then I'll move on to the next one. I think we only have two more and we're done. Um, everyone's been asking me about, uh, what is it, uh, Fubuki and uh, Tornado, right? I can tell you only one thing. Both characters have not been shown yet. So realize that they're in the artworks and the promotion, stuff like that. Uh, but both characters have not, have not been shown. So I don't know what's going to happen to them. They're probably, because I think players love them, okay? You have to realize how popular uh, Fubuki is as a character to be where players are going to, or the devs realize, like, dude, that's, that's cash, bro. That is pure cash so we're gonna make sure that is a full-blown premium banner and if this game ever has seasonal characters as clearly they do have different variants if there's ever seasonal characters dude just be ready they're gonna make christmas fubuki and they're gonna milk those characters as much as they can um because again players just love them so realize that now like characters like king also king was in the beta officially um you can only play as him as a tutorial stage or as a mission stage you could not summon for him or play as him outside of that one mission i do not know if he's going to be a character but again he had a very cool ability set and everything but again he was not playable 
outside of the one mission, but... There's that very cool animation here, dude. Tenos is just that guy. Overkill as hell, annihilating everything for this, man. What a guy, <laughs> dude. What a guy. Uh, I just want to show this to you, but again, they keep marketing that these two characters are there. But I can confirm for you, both characters were not were not in the beta. Everybody else in here was in the beta. These two are not in the beta. They keep tweeting her like on the, uh, the CN side and the global side continuously as if like she's in the beta. But, or in the game, but again, as of right now, she's not in the game, so just realize that uh, they keep doing like calendars and countdowns and everything and whatnot, but again, I will tell you right now, probably a premium banner in the coming months when the game launches, all right? Uh, over here is a free character we're getting at the launch of the game. That is Saitama uh, Work Mode, apparently. It's suited of Saitama, right? It's before he became the One Punch Man. Uh, currently, we do not have the One Punch Man Saitama, right? We don't. Uh, that's gonna be like a festival. <laughs> I wonder how they're gonna do it. Like his ultimate's an auto kill or something like that. I don't even know. But, um, yeah, that's why you can't make a One Punch Man gacha game, bro. It's just, Saitama's too broken. That's what it is. It's an issue. Power scaling is not here. Like, we're gonna get, like, weakened versions of Saitama. <laughs> Genuinely speaking. Oh, he starts to lose his hair. Oh, no. Damn, I just realized that because he goes bald. I never knew that that was the animation. That is sick, actually. And this is an SR character, by the way. Again, given to you for free. So... <laughs> I never knew that. Oh my god! And he's shocked because yeah, he turns into the, the actual Saitama we know, right? The bald one. <sighs> Terrific. All right. Yep. That's it. That's basically the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Just want to go through all the characters that are going to be there. Uh, those were all the characters in the beta. Don't know which one turns into a premium banner. But again, you need characters to actually start the game. Like you need a standard banner uh, roster. And whatever I showed you is not even enough to kind of fill that. Uh, other games have like six to eight characters on the standard banner. Um, so this is around there. So if they incorporate all of these characters, right? But yeah, that's been it. I'll catch you all the next one. Have fun, stay safe, peace, and enjoy. Again, that is the characters in One Punch Man World. Be ready for the game. Coming pretty soon. We're only like, we're only like six days away. Realize that now. That is insane. So have fun.